Hi, I'm back. So today, as promised, I'm going to do um, a heart tutorial with you. I was showing you yesterday on Instagram that I have made lots of little tiny hearts which I put key rings on because I want to send something in with my daughter when she goes to work tomorrow. Uh, she's a midwife at the RUH in Bath and I thought it would be nice as a little thank you to send in a little um, box full of goodies for all the other midwives to help themselves and take a little thank you. A little rainbow of hope or a little hopeful heart. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, what I thought I'd start off with though is just by showing you how what a difference your hook size and your yarn size can make so basically all of these hearts here are all made with exactly the same pattern no different numbers of stitches or anything like that they're all just made with different yarns and different hook sizes which is as you can see really affects the size this one it's going to be the one that I'm going to show you how to make today. Like I say, the pattern is just standard for all of them. But this one is um, a double knit yarn. And I actually used King Cole Bamboo for this one. And I think that colours denim. So I'm going to use it in that because it's quite nice and big and clear. And it will, you'll really hopefully be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use a three millimetre hook with that one. So that's what I'm going to show you today. But... I just thought it was also quite interesting this one here really tiny little one I made with um, some yarn from DMC and it's called Pearl or Pearl A Pearl and this is a pearl number five so we're really talking thin thin yarn here almost kind of like embroidery thread um, and the one that I particularly like to use is a number three and they get thinner the bigger the number. So there's a three, there's a five, there's an eight. And this is the one that's worked on a five. And I think I used a two millimetre hook for that one. So you can see it's really quite small. This one, uh, I guess, is kind of similar to that size because uh, that is Rig Roomy Double Knit, again, worked with a three millimeter hook. Now, if you fancy doing the rainbow heart, if you look on my blog, that's actually the, the pattern for the rainbow heart is written on there, just showing you when to change colors with each corresponding row. And again, I'll put the link of that in the little underneath bit of blurb underneath this video. So that's that. But anyway, let's focus on what we're going to do today, which is this one. I chose to make it this size because I think it just works particularly well on a key ring. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. Now, let me tell you about the yarn I use for this. So this is the DMC and this one is a DMC and it's a number five. So again, quite fine. And I used, what did I use for this one? A 2.5 millimetre hook. So 2.5 millimetre hook. Petra number five and again they do these in so many colours this is the yarn that I actually use to make the rainbows and I'm going to do a little uh, tutorial on that in a minute but for the hearts I used a number five um, the colours are just numbers there's no actual name of the colour so it's probably just worth having a look online to see um, I, I lots of places stock it love crochet stock this uh, wool warehouse just put it in your um, search bar DMC Petra and see what comes up and then like I said lots and lots of colors that you can choose from I chose this blue because it's just quite a nice NHS kind of a blue so let's get started like I say I'm not going to make a teeny tiny one I'm going to do it in the double knit bamboo with a three millimeter hook so you can see clearly what I'm doing and if this is the first one that you've made I would suggest probably use a bigger yarn to start with just to kind of get the hang of the pattern so that you know the process and then once you feel confident then just start going smaller and smaller and smaller and tinier and tinier and tinier um, and see how you get on okay let me get all my bits together and um, I should be back in a minute and we'll start the tutorial okay here we go now just before we start I probably got everybody horribly confused because 
I always get this yarn muddled up. It's DMC Petra. I think I told you it was called DMC Perle, but it's DMC Petra. Perle is one of the particular kinds that's got a slight sheen to it, but this one is DMC Petra number five, which is the yarn that I used to make this little tiny heart here with the key ring on it. Okay, so let's, now we've got that cleared up, let me move that out of the way because what I'm actually going to demonstrate the heart with is uh, King Cole Bamboo Cotton. Cotton again because it just does give that lovely clear definition um, and I'm going to show you how to make this heart. Okay, so the pattern, like I say, I will write underneath but we'll just work through it together. So. The basic makeup of the heart is we start off by making each of these two tips. I've made one already just to save a little bit of time and I'm now going to make the other one now so that you can see how to do that. But basically you make two of these and then you join them together and work your way down. So we start from the top and work down. Right, so there's my first one. Now let's make the second one. Right, we need to start off by making a magic ring. If uh, you need a little tutorial how to do that, there is also one on my YouTube page. So just uh, flick down and you'll find that one. So we're gonna make a magic ring and we're going to work four double crochets into that magic ring. So one, two, three, Four. Pull it up to close the ring. And then we're going to work. We're now going to work on to round two. Round two, we want to end up with eight stitches at the end of it. So we're going to work two double crochet into each stitch all the way round. Go into the first one. And we're literally just going to work two double crochet into each stitch. So there's one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there you are at the end of your second round and you've got eight stitches. We now want to keep making the circle a little bit bigger each time. So this time we're gonna work our third round and by the end of it, we need to have 12 stitches. To do that, we're going to work one double crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to increase in the second stitch. So I'm gonna count as I do it. And like I say, at the end of this round, we need to make sure we've got 12 stitches. So one double crochet to start. Sorry, I'm fiddly faffing this morning. Right, one double crochet and then two into the next stitch. Two, three, we're going to repeat that all the way around. Four, just one into there. Five and six into the next stitch. Seven just the one on its own, eight and nine into the next stitch, ten on its own, eleven and twelve into the next stitch, okay so there you are at the end of your third round with twelve stitches. We're now going to do round four and at the end of round four we want to have increased so that we've got 16 stitches. To do that we're going to do one double crochet on its own, one double crochet on its own and two double crochets into the next stitch. I'm going to count as I do it. One on its own, two on its own, three and four together. Five on its own, six on its own, seven, eight, 
7 and 8 together. 9 on its own, 10 on its own, 11 and 12 together. Thirteen on its own, fourteen on its own, fifteen and sixteen together. And you've now increased and you've got sixteen stitches at the end of row four. Now we don't want to increase any more than that because that is as wide as we want the, the little heart tip to go. So what we now need to do is just to do uh, I think it is, bear with me, F rounds five, six and seven are all 16 stitches. When, just at this point, before it gets too fiddly, what I tend to do is just pull your yarn that you started off with, your yarn tail on the inside, just to kind of tighten it all up. Okay, so we're now going to carry on and we're going to just do three rounds of 16 stitches. Nothing more than that, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. So can you see now we're really starting to get a little dome shape coming together. Uh, another round of 16. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. You can really see the shape starting to come together now. We've got one more row of 16 and then that's our little heart tip finished. A little split of cotton there. Okay, so let's just do one more row of 16. One. Two. Three. Four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, whoops, eight, ten. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So there is our second little heart tip which matches the first one that I made before. When you finish the first one, just uh, literally just finish it off like that. You can cut your yarn end. But on the second one, don't finish it off because we now are just going to carry on joining the two together. I'm just going to pull that bit from the middle and I'm also just going to snip that end because they get all a bit in the way otherwise. Okay, so we now have one heart tip that's still attached to the yarn ball and the one that we made before that isn't. So we're now going to join them together. So the one that is still joined, hold that one in your hand, ready to go. Okay, like that. Now pick up 
the first heart tip and I tend to start just after the last stitch. You want to go in because what we're going to basically do now is we are going to join these two inner seams together because that is going to make this join down the middle of the heart. It can be a little bit fiddly so don't panic too much. Just take your time at it. This is why it's quite good, I always think, to start with a thicker yarn. So just kind of do a rough slip stitch to start. And now we're going to go through the first stitch. Oops, sorry, I'll try and do it as clearly as I can. We're going to go through the first, the first stitch on one heart tip. Oh, our yarn's gone a bit splitty. Okay, one there and then into there. So now you've basically got four little bits on your hook. Yarn over. and just work your first double crochet. We're now going to do exactly the same and do a second double crochet. Same again to do a third double crochet. Same again fourth double crochet and in total you want to do either five or six again I don't get too hung up on stitch numbers and things here because you know just kind of go with what you think looks right uh, I think I'm going to actually do six on here and that will then take us to the end of that seam right let me open it out so that you can see what I've done so there is your seam of six double crochets if you look at it from the other side the right side you can now see that you've joined it together and that is the top of the heart that you have just formed there which is all very good okay now let us carry on what we basically are going to do now we're going to continue working rounds gradually decreasing and decreasing and decreasing to get to the tip, the bait that you know, the bit, the bottom tip of the heart. Okay, so having joined that one together, we're now just simply going to do one round and come back to here of double crochet. Again, don't get hung up on stitch counts and things. I think it just puts too much pressure on you. It's such a tiny little thing. Um, just go with it. So I'm just literally going to do one round of double crochet. So we're going to go round one heart tip, this is where we finished off the first one and we can knot that end in in a minute so just put it to whoops put it to one side you're coming back now to your central seam that you just joined carry on round and again don't get too hung up about looking for exact stitches just put your hook in where it looks logically like it should go okay we're now going to go around the base of the second heart tip and work our way round back to where we started from. Okay, and then we're back to the centre again. And that actually is probably the most complicated bit done and dusted now. Okay, so you've got your two heart tips joined together and you've done one round all the way round that's joined the two together. So it's looking good so far. Cracking job. Now let's carry on. Okay, so... What we want to do to get the shape of the heart is gradually decrease with each round as we go down and to do that 
you basically need to decrease at each side. By decrease, I mean working two double crochets together to get to this lovely point. Again, very simple. We're going to do um, four rounds like this. So basically it's gonna be four rounds where we're just gonna work our way around, but at each side, we're going to decrease. Let me show you. So let's do the first round. So work your way round to the side of that first heart tip. When you get to the side, just before you're sort of at the full center, stop and look at it. So you bang up, you bang in your center there. So you've got your one double crochet on your hook. We're now going to do our decrease here. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and pull one up. I'm going to go into the next stitch. So you will see now that we've got three loops on the hook. I'm going to pull my yarn over and that's your decrease worked on that side of the heart. We're going to carry on simple double crochets. back round the other side, back across the center again, keep going because so we're going to work our way back round to the other side for our second decrease on this round. So I'm getting back round to the side just before you get to the center is where you need to stop. So I've got one on my hook there. I'm going to pull one up into the next stitch and I'm going to pull up another one because that's going to be our decrease on the side there. And now we're going to work back around to the center, which if you remember is where the round starts. If you find it helpful, use a stitch marker to mark the beginning of your round. To be honest with you, I, I suppose I've just done that many now that I don't tend to do it. I just tend to count as I'm going. But if you find that would be helpful to you, obviously just pop a little stitch marker in. So there's our first round. We've decreased there. We've decreased there. We're now going to do our second round in exactly the same way. So I'm going to work around to the side. And then just as you get to the side, stop, pick up your three loops and work your decrease. Okay, I'm gonna double crochet around to the other side. Working your way around slowly, slowly. Okay, we're coming to the other side now. Get your positioning right. So one there, pick up one, pick up another and do your decrease. We're going to come back round to the center and that is the end of your second round of decreases. Can you see now it's really beginning to start to take uh, the shape of the heart. So let's do our third one. Work around to the side. As you get to the side, position it right to do your decrease. That's Otto there, as you can hear. Okay, carry on round. We're now going to work our way to the other side. There's something deeply, deeply satisfying about making these hearts. I think it's the thing that I've made the most of out of all the things that I've crocheted. Okay, we're back to the other side. So do your second decrease of that round. Back round to you 
the centre again for the end of round three of your decreases. Let's see how it's looking. So you can see now it's really beginning to take the shape of the heart. I'm actually just going to tuck that little end in there because it's a bit fiddly and confusing otherwise let's just tuck him in there okay so we've got one more round of decreasing at each side work your way to the side as you get to the side position yourself so one whoops two, three, and decrease. Work back round to the other side. stitches for the decrease and work your way back to the center which is where that round ends okay so there you have it you've now worked your four rounds decreasing so that you can see we're really getting that lovely shape now so very nearly there slight difference now we now want to decrease quite rapidly to get the the shape of the heart into that lovely tip at the end so what we're going to do we're going to decrease at the sides and also at each of the centers okay so but start off we're actually on round 13 now again like I say this will all be written in the pattern but um, as we're working through it together I'm just telling you as I go along so to start off with we're uh, we're going to work to that side there and we're going to do another decrease just as we've done in the other rounds so work around it's getting smaller and smaller now And I'm going to work my first decrease on this on this side. Okay. Now we're going to work to the centre of the heart. And again, I'm going to do a decrease here. So now pick up one stitch, pick up the next stitch and decrease. We're now going to work to the next side where we're going to do another decrease. I mean, there's not many stitches, obviously, between each of your decreases because there's just not many, very, very many stitches full stop. So one, two, and pull up that one and decrease. We're now coming to that back to the end of that round and we're going to finish the end of the round with our last centre decrease. So one... So you've actually ended up doing four decreases in that round and you can see that's given now a much sharper decrease working towards the point. We're going to do that same round one more time. This is round 14 now. So round 14, the same as 13 in that you are going to decrease at the sides. There's my side decrease. work round to the center okay so we're at the end of round 14 here um, we've done two rounds now where we've decreased to each side and each center and you can see we've now worked pretty much right up to the end of our heart so what you actually need to do now is to grab some stuffing just um, regular toy stuffing will be perfect and you just want to stuff your heart. It's a 
surprising actually, I always think, how much stuffing they do take. So push it right up into each of the little heart tips. And you can see suddenly your hard work comes together looking really very nice so to finish off we're now going to work we've got about two more rounds and basically you just want to work your way around doing one double crochet decrease one double crochet decrease one double crochet decrease basically until you've closed up that little hole at the bottom so one double crochet one double crochet decrease if before you put your very final stitches in you want to just pop a bit more stuffing in then obviously do that at this point they do I actually find they look better really stuffed quite firmly um, so you've probably just got a chance to shove a tiny bit more in at that point Yeah, that's better. That's just um, given that bottom bit a nice bit of shape. So just continue on round now with your pattern of one double crochet, decrease, we might be able to get one more in, one double crochet, I can do one more decrease there obviously the very very final bit you can um, just close up you know when you finish off your end with a needle so there we are pull it through let me just cut my end off here thread it through pull it up nice and tight so there you go one very cute little heart like I say I kind of touched on this when I was making it um, earlier on I have to say I think I honestly couldn't tell you how many of these I've made they're so quick they're just a lovely way to use up all your little ends of yarn and it's just a really lovely thing I think to just pop in the post to somebody or attach to a present as a, like a little gift tag they're just there's just a multitude of reasons for making them and it's a very satisfying thing to do as well very quick and very easy um, if I was going to make this one into a key ring what I would do now is I would thread this bit back up in through the top of the heart not sure if I've got any of my keychains here. Just bear with me one moment. I have these. Um, again, I think I got these ones from Amazon, uh, but again, quite easy to get online. So I would have just threaded that back up through there, stitch your little keychain on, and there you have it. This one um, is a slightly smaller one. Um, again this was made with the DMC Petra um, and again I did that to the rainbow pattern which was quite nice that uh, like I say I will put the pattern on my blog so there we are I really hope that's helped I hope it was clear I'm still learning how to do these videos and I sometimes think I haven't quite got it yet but um, I hope it was helpful for you the best thing about learning by videos is that you can obviously stop start stop start stop start so I hope that's really helped you uh, that's that little tutorial over I'm going to get this one up and then I will come back and I will do the next little keychain one which was for the little tiny rainbows see you later